I'm going to let Phil start, actually, since I already spoke. Uh, soon to be four-time Mr. Olympia, Phil. Well, uh, definitely want to say thanks for coming out, um, supporting Jay for his show up here. It's really cool to actually have you here because, um, you know, Jay Cullen was actually um, at my very first bodybuilding show at the NBC Northern Colorado in 2003 and uh, never thought I'd be in this position actually standing on stage with him as a Mr. Olympia champion. And both of us have, well, yeah, you're beating me too, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, that happened pretty, pretty quicker than what we talked about, right? But, um, you know, throughout the years, I mean, it was really interesting because, you know, normally on tour, you get to know each other on a different level, traveling to different countries, not being you know, able to speak the language, and you kind of draw attention to one another. And, you know, Jay and I had a pretty good relationship, you know, on and off stage. I mean, obviously, you know, looking up to him all those years and then seeing him go through all those battles, you know, with Coleman and then seeing him finally win. I was there watching him and then being on stage with him and then, you know, beating him. It, was, it wasn't really about beating him. It was actually about being Mr. Olympia. And ever since then, um, you would really think uh, after that show, after the photo shoots and us traveling to India together, uh, kind of going on our tour, that there would be some type of disconnection between the two of us. and. Uh, I will definitely always um, appreciate Jay because he always stayed strong and, and remained a class act and remained my good friend. And, and although that you know I was you know winning, you know he was really never losing uh, at the same time. And that's how I feel right now, getting ready for the 2014 Mr. Olympia. Is that now that you know Jay's uh, not up there on stage, I, I have an even bigger fan base, so to speak. So it's pretty neat. Um, normally, I would have all of Jay's. Fans talking trash on Twitter and things, but they talk all kind of junk. But uh, now they've kind of started coming all over, and uh, that's that's really neat because I can use all the help I can get, and obviously from you guys as well. You know, being one of your own, and um, you know, I just want to say thanks. But um, you know, I think Jay's still in pretty good shape. What do you guys think? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know, did you show <laughs> I, I obviously Let's haven't, go. so you ain't got no underwear on, do you? <laughs> but, uh, oh, come <laughs> like man, it's good. <laughs> but, um, damn. <laughs> We went, we went through this last year. We went through this. Phil, Phil was, was nice enough to drive down last year and, and visit our first year contest. And uh, you know, it's it's something like he, he mentioned. You know, I kind of not necessarily. I hate to say mentored Phil. Uh, we met obviously when he was very young on these kind of stages, like I mentioned earlier in my speech. And and he progressed. I predicted him to be very great one day. Uh, predicted him to be Mr. Olympia. Uh, what I didn't plan on is for him to actually beat me to win it. <laughs> but, like he said, I was I was cheering for him and anyone that's seen that contest when he did beat me in, in 2011. Uh, I was very happy for his success. Um, I feel very strongly for him going into this year's Olympia. He's six, under six weeks away now. So for him to come down here um, and obviously say hello, I know it's a huge, uh, you know, it's a huge responsibility not only to be Mr. Olympia, but to be, you know, that close to the competition and, and take time out of the training and everything like that. It, it can be demanding sometimes. So I want to personally say thank you, Phil, for coming down and, and obviously seeing the fans because now they have something to really look forward to in the fall, uh, the Phil Heath Classic here uh, in Wyoming. So, and alongside Rick, and uh, Remy, they, they've been very supportive uh, and given Phil the opportunity to have a show so close to home. By that time, he'll be, of course, Mr. Olympia once again, which, which I'll be in the front row cheering him on, instead of being up there standing on stage and posing down like you guys want to see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get Phil to take his shirt off right now.
you know, it's, it's too bad because I know I'm booked out the 20, 25th of October, and I'm not going to be here to support Phil's show, but, uh, you know, I do appreciate the things that you're coming down. It's, it's huge for us. You know, for the fans, too, to see that. I, I, I think you can get out there and get a little arm shot at least for that, right? The best arms in bodybuilding, so I think uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get to that. But we just want to say a few more things. Uh, you know, when I first was introduced to having a show in Wyoming, it was kind of one of those things. I wasn't sure really what was happening out here, and, and obviously bodybuilding is big in a lot of different areas. We travel worldwide. We're in front of thousands and thousands of people, um, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. And after last year, I remember, you know, when Phil came down, and, you know, we kind of talked about it a little bit afterwards. We, the people out here are just are so appreciative. I mean, I put on shows in other cities and you know, states, and I just have so many people come up to me and thanking me personally, like, wow, thanks for bringing bodybuilding here. And, you know, even experience is the same. I'm sure people um, are excited about it. And given the opportunity to compete on these stages, it, it's just, it's something that we, I can appreciate a lot being off the stage now and being supportive of all the athletes, but it's something that you know you're going to learn to appreciate a lot more. You know when you're not in your competitive mindset and you're relaxed more in October. But you know we really do appreciate you guys very, very much. And without you being involved, there would be no shows. And without your feedback, so you know I know I've met a lot of people in the lobby uh, tonight. And you know please come up and say hello and, uh, and shake hands, okay? I'm gonna let Phil say a few more words and then we'll continue with the show. So just four, huh? No, I'm just four. Well, uh, real quick, so Jay and I were in, I think it was in India, and uh, it was our first time in India, and we're, Jay's room, <laughs> well, that your room was like the size of the stage, and my room was like the size of this. <laughs> So you think after winning the Olympia, you know, you're like, oh yeah, I get the, you know, special treatment, this and that. So I was like, all right, we're like, yeah, Mr. Heat, uh, your room's right next to Jay's. So I was like, yeah, perfect. So knock on his room, and he's got like three servants, and kitchen manager, and <laughs> guy driving his cell phone, and laptop, and I just got, you know, my bag and my trainer in the apartment. You know? <laughs> But um, you know it was really neat because, um, like I said before, you know we had a, a, a good chat. And, you know one of the things that I noticed that you know Jay has with me is a lot of confidence in my ability, and you know that's one of the coolest things about having friends and family and even trainers in your background, you know, and, 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 you know behind you. Because when you step on this stage, it is terrifying. It really is, and to know that you took the opportunity, you made a decision that you wanted to step on stage, not just be that guy in the gym that's, you know, oh yeah, we're always talking about doing the show, always talking about it. You actually said, you know what, I'm going to do it. I don't care if it means that I placed last. It means that it was a personal goal for me and me alone. And I had the guts to get up on here and be adjudicated by a bunch of strangers. A bunch of strangers. I mean, it's like your worst nightmare coming to mind. And, you know, to have that happen, and, you know, it, it's just, I still remember it, but moving forward, you know, I remember thinking, gosh, like, how many Olympians could I win? So we were actually having this chat, and the trainer at the time, Tony Rambo, was like, you know, oh, yeah, you know, we might get a couple more in this and that. And Jay's like, no, he's going to break the freaking record. What are you talking about? He's like, Jay, but like, because he's training both of us, mind you. See? So Tony's trying to be diplomatic, and Jay just says, no, the guy's, the kid's got the heart, and he's going to train hard, and if he doesn't, then he sucks. So, <laughs> like, no pressure, right? So, uh, you know, it was, it was more motivation yeah, than anything. I mean, you know, so when you have those people behind you, um, it, it keeps my eyes focused on, you know, the task at hand. I mean, a lot of guys, you know, you're going to have people that motivate you and stuff, and then sometimes you want to rest on your walls and stuff. With Jay, it was more about, okay, I need to do this because all my life I want someone to really believe in me, you know, believe in my ability and, and, and to watch me grow. And, you know, I don't know how many Olympians I'm going to win, but I'm definitely going to try to break the record, that's for sure. But it's going to be one year at a time, and I know there's a lot of other guys that are getting ready for the show. But, um, you know, I always try to encourage each and every one of you, whether you're male, female, whether you want to compete or not. I mean, bodybuilding has shown me that if you, if you 
give a damn about your success and you have passion about what you do. You should be confident in your ability, no matter what anyone else tells you to do. No matter what your parents say, no matter what your girlfriend told you, whoever, if you really care about success, you're gonna take the necessary time and effort to learn about that craft, cultivate it, and then hopefully one day become very successful so you can inspire other people just like what we and he and I have been able to do. We're extremely blessed to be honest. Um, you know, all these competitors back here, you know, I mean, we were one of them at one point in time, and we both could probably say to you that we didn't think that we would be on this very stage, you know, having these chats with people about health and fitness, but more importantly, about believing in yourself. And that's what being Mr. Olympia really is about, is about telling people to believe in themselves through our efforts that you see on YouTube and on the stage and stuff like that. And what you're going to see at the 50th Mr. Olympia contest is that just that, I mean, going in for a fight of my life. You know, I'm very, very motivated, very, very excited. And sometimes, you know, when you know you see the guy going to work every day, smiling and stuff, everybody says, what's wrong with him? It's like, what do you mean what's wrong with me? I'm very blessed to be in a position where I'm really good at something, and I'm enjoying it. And I, and I get to go to work every day, whether it be getting up at 5 a.m., doing hours worth of cardio, eating the same bland food that everybody else back there is eating and stuff. I actually enjoy the process, because I know that my best will always be good enough. And I always challenge each and every one of you to feel the same, whether it be in school, work, relationships, what have you, is to always, always, always believe in positive outcome and always put yourself in that. Otherwise, hey, you're gonna be below average and no one wants to do that. No one wants to look back and have regrets about life. So, you know, with that said, I just want to say thank you all for coming out. You know, I'm really, really excited for all these athletes that you guys have. And uh, I sure, I sure like this. Some of you guys are family members of these competitors back here, and they've probably been, you know, real crabby and whatnot, real pissed off. You know, they want to eat, so we, we will get this show on the road so then we can get these awards done and they can go eat so you guys can be happy, right? <laughs> but uh, I guess I should give you guys advice or shout out to right? Yeah!